I mean, you know, even talking about my writing with someone like Susan, I mean, that would have been enough, but she loved it. I mean, God, her response was just so detailed and so specific. I mean, her reading was so deep. I, I mean, and to engage in that level of conversation with someone about my work, I just, <coughs> God, it was thrilling. Yeah. God, you know, and I was so terrified because I mean, besides you, like, she's the only person who's read it, but I mean, God, she loved it. Yeah, I told you. I know, and you were right. I mean, God, I was so worried about the whole E.S. Thorne thing, you know, how I've been getting all this attention with this fictional biography, but she said it didn't matter. I mean, God, she actually thinks it'll help us going forward. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but I mean, she said we'll work it out. Whatever they do, all right, I'm sure it's going to be legal. It was <coughs> ethically sketchy. She loved it, okay? That's all you have to think about. I mean, she had some notes, but they, they uh. really didn't bother me. <coughs> you know, her questions were really incisive, and her thoughts were really smart. Well, what were her notes? Well, she had some thoughts about the ending. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's going to want you to change the ending. Well, I don't know. Uh, she, she wants will. me you to change it. She will. Why? Because it's not commercial at all. So, what? You think she's going to force me to be more commercial? I thought you trusted her. <laughs> I do. Look, look, she's... Yes, as far as agents go, Susan is great. But you don't even need to listen to her in the end. Yeah, she's an agent. Okay, she wants to make money. So if you go with her, she's going to push you to be more commercial. All right, well, I'm not going to make any changes to my book that I don't believe in. But, I mean, I like what she had to say, and I'm going to think about it. Okay, I'm just warning you. Why? Is that what happened with Sex with Strangers? It was like a warm, fuzzy family drama until Sneaky Susan got her hands on it. <laughs> I'm just